Trump's new communication chief goes full mafia mode and says, who needs to be stabbed in the chest? Don't bring your backstabbing self around the White House when Anthony Scaramucci is around. He's not into backstabbing because he's more of a front stabber. Seems like there's a disconnect among staffers and people are leaking like a water balloon stung by a bee. There are more leakers in the White House than there are holes in a pile of stinky Swiss cheese and Trump's new White House communications director is trying to crack down on them. When talking about the backstabbing going on in the government, Scaramucci reminds people that he's more of a front stabber who would rather tell people how he feels and what needs to be done to their face and not behind their backs. That's a straight shooter there. Scaramucci wants people to remember who they work for. Scaramucci wants people to remember that when they're working for America and the president, they have sworn to serve the country and they need to act accordingly. So very true. Scaramucci isn't afraid to fire everyone who doesn't fall into line with the way things are going in Trump's White House. President Trump's new White House communications director, Anthony Scaramucci, dismissed any talk of backstabbing while he is in charge of the press department. He says he is more a, of a front-stabbing guy. Appearing on Fox and Friends on Wednesday, Scaramucci slammed the culture of backstabbing in Washington and pledged to be more upfront with his management style. What I don't like about Washington is that people don't let you know how they feel. Scaramucci told uh, the Fox host, they're very nice to your face and then they uh, take a shiv or a machete and stab you in the back. I'm a Wall Street guy and I'm more of a front stabbing person and I'd rather tell people directly how I feel about them than this sort of nonsense, he added. Scaramucci mentions the beef between Attorney General Jeff Sessions and President Donald Trump. He wants them to handle their business on their own and let them work things out. Scaramucci suggests that when Trump is upset with someone working for him, regardless of who they are, that he will resort to expressing his feelings or displeasure, which usually happens on Twitter. And God bless President Trump. Scaramucci then reminds people to remain loyal and remember who they work for, but not be afraid to tell the president how they feel. Don't hold back when there's a disagreement. Comparisons were made between government and sports teams. Teams who stand side by side go to battle and usually win because the team consists of loyal teammates who support their team. Sports teams fail when the people on the team are not playing like a team. It affects the entire team when one person slacks off or does things for their own benefit. That can't happen in Washington because America needs its government to work together and make America great again. His style may mesh quite nicely with Donald Trump's famously pugnacious Big Apple demeanor of getting right to the nub of the matter from the start. Indeed, on Wednesday morning, President Trump took to his Twitter account to slam Alaska Senator Lisa Merck Kowski, uh, for siding with Democrats against the Republican agenda of repealing and replacing Obamacare. Trump also came straight out with the announcement that he would not allow transgender soldiers to serve in the U.S. military. But as far as Scaramucci is concerned, he is prepared to stand by his boss. The right thing to do is stand side by side with the president so when you're not doing that, imagine you're a football coach in the locker room. Do you think you're going to get chewed a little bit? Scaramucci said on Wednesday to me, that's a classic New Yorker letting you know how you feel. What happens when the White House gets chaotic, then nothing gets done. America needs the Republicans to stand behind their president. 
They also need the Democrats to be more cooperative and open-minded. President Trump has faced backlash ever since he won the 2016 election. The government cannot progress without struggle, but when the struggle is constantly coming from the Democrats, then one has to wonder how long it will be until Democrats are slowly converting over to the Republicans. Let's take a listen here. This is a Fox News alert. Right now, we are privileged to have the incoming White House Communications Director. We've had him on the program. Uh, this before. is like a 10 minute communicator. Uh, we were talking about Ed Koch the other day, who was the uh, legendary mayor of New York. Mm -hmm. Ed once said, hey, I'm, I'm not getting the cancer. I'm giving you the cancer. And the point that he meant by that is that he's going to fully express everything that's on his mind. Uh, the people that work for the president have to have a tough exoskeleton to be able to handle that. Uh, and, and for me and for the president and for Jeff Sessions, uh, I sort of got to let Jeff Sessions and the president or Attorney General Sessions handle that themselves. But I would tell people to stay tough. The mm -hmm. president likes tough people. The president likes fighters uh, who are well intentioned, I should point out. We don't want to just fight like an Italian family for no reason. We want to fight <laughs> for the right reasons, right? Right. So my, 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 Welcome my to the family. NFL. I get it. Welcome to the NFL, right? Well, you welcome got to the NFL. So if the president's enough, upset, so why, is he, why is he undermining his own attorney general? That's the question you're Okay, well, well, you can view it that way. I actually don't view it that way. I Absolutely. Think what the president's trying to do is trying to signal to people that I need your loyalty, I need your advocacy. If you're doing things that I don't like, I'm going to express that. He's not a Washingtonian. Uh, we're both New Yorkers. Does he uh, want a new Attorney General, Anthony? I don't. I, I don't know the answer to that. I think we got to let the it president. It kind of looks like it to a lot of people. Okay, but but you know what, Mr. Trump looks not like the typical. Mr. The president does not look like the typical president. Okay. Uh, he's handling himself in an atypical way for the presidency, uh, and mm -hmm. you can see that last yeah. night in 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 Ohio. Sure. You can see it the night before in West Virginia. The reason why the American people love this man so much is that he's direct, direct to the Absolutely. messenger, direct to the citizen, uh, and he's also expressing his displeasure. Uh, and I would say to people in this town that are working with the president, stay tough, express your opinion, be loyal, and have confidence in yourself that you can get the job done. And so if you do that, I've seen that happen for my friends that have worked for him inside the Trump Organization, and I see that in here, that he respects the people that can talk to him in a deferentially honest way, okay. uh, but tell them the truth uh, about how they feel, because he's going to tell you exactly how yeah. he feels. Anthony, and, he's told and, and in some us. ways, guys, that's very refreshing to me. Yeah, he's told all of us about draining the swamp in Washington, that Washington is stalling his agenda. He's going on the road and doing these rallies. And even this morning, his latest tweet is going after a Republican senator, Lisa Murkowski, because she was one of the two Republican holdouts, or the ones who voted no yesterday, just to debate repeal and replace. Here's his latest tweet. He says, the president of the United States, he's the leader of the free world. Come here sure. and let's fix it and let's work together for the agenda and for the goals sure. that we have that are going to better the American people. That's what we have to because do. Because she has... That's it. Sean Spicer resigned immediately after learning that Anthony Scaramucci was hired as the new communications director. Spicer disagreed with hiring Scaramucci and literally quit his job upon learning that the financier Scaramucci was joining the team. <laughs> you wonder you wonder why, right? <laughs> When asked about leaks, Scaramucci basically said he would fire everyone. He also resorted to state that it was nearly impossible to stop all leaks. It seems like there will always be someone somewhere who will leak information for the right or wrong reasons. It's the leaks in the White House that could lead to a decline in progress. Absolutely. The Republicans and Democrats should attempt to work together in hopes to provide a suitable health care system in America. Minimizing leaks could maximize performance. On the contrary, the leaks are often dramatic and make for great stories. However, if we wanted a soap opera, then we would watch that on television in the afternoons. We don't want the White House to be a drama that gets nothing done make america great again so absolutely true 
and you know this does not uh, apply to the liberal uh, left, you know, that are that are totally out of touch with the reality of the situation and the severity of the situation. Let us know what you think in the comments below, and thank you so much for watching.